Hi, Krista. It's so good to see you. I've been getting a lot of questions about the retreat, and I'm sure you have also. So I wanted to run through with you the questions that you have, the questions that I have received from different people, and then answer them quickly, because I know several people want to join, but they're a bit scared or intimidated. They want to have some, some more information. So, so if I could ask you quickly, one question that I'm getting is about the facilities. Could you tell a little bit more about the facilities? Absolutely, yes. Just ahead of all the answers, no one should be intimidated. It's really going to be a space for everyone in whatever phase of their life and moment in their life they are in. But we'll get to that a little bit later. So about the facility, it's a beautiful space uh, just at the edge of Lucerne towards Argau. It's right next to a lake. So those who are lucky to be higher up in the house actually have the lake view. We're close to a magical forest where we can go for beautiful nature walks. There's a little pond that is fully natural as well. So we can connect to the water and they have a delicious cuisine that's uh, going to be vegetarian we still have the option to go vegan so yeah it's going to be wonderful that sounds very nice and i know that there's a fireplace outside so for me for me that sounded really good there is there definitely is and we're going to have a beautiful fire ceremony on saturday night so we're going to take full advantage of uh, the whole facilities that we have it's a little bit hidden and um, there's a little um space away from from the main center so we can really have our privacy and yeah just connect to the energies of the fire sounds very good um the the other question um that i also received is kind of the theme why is it important this time of the year so I thought you are also the right person to answer that. It's definitely the perfect day to answer this question. Uh, today is equinox, so it's the perfect balance between day and night. Day and night have the same length of day. It's also light and darkness or yin and yang. And fall is all about transformation. If we look outside, the trees are starting to turn beautiful orange and golden and starting to let go of the leaves that they no longer need um, for the winter time. And actually humans, we are also part of nature, we should be doing the same. So it's the perfect time to just really give thanks to all the gifts and all the the experiences we've received over summer but also let go what we no longer need to carry with us and this is what this whole weekend is all going to be about <laughs> and and i know the participants who registered i think a common theme between is really that letting go and stepping into their power and leading with the power is there anything else you can you can share about the participants who are already there just for others to know what kind of people what kind of um, interest needs they have absolutely well once again it's really for any woman impact leader um, that feels uh, the call and for me who we have today is we have uh, different stages of uh, leadership we have some at the very beginning of their careers and um, who are just figuring out hey where is really going to be my big impact how do i take the first steps we are some that are just at the end of a big chapter that are going through a big transition uh, starting new jobs and new projects coming up and we have others that are very established in their jobs since a decade and are looking to take the next step to really see where where is life taking me and where is my bigger impact for next year going to happen so it's a it's a great mix of women and maybe Egle, that leads me for a question to you because i know you've also been talking to a lot of women um can you tell us a little bit more about um who else is interested uh, who might be coming along a bit the profile of the woman we're gonna be sharing this weekend with so most of my questions come from leaders in the community, uh, different communities in Basel, women who have very high accomplishments and uh, their, their questions are more about who else is there, is it a community that's already formed, will I be new, and for me that's the really important also area to answer is that this, this is a new community that's forming, so some people might know each other but majority do not. Uh, so it's coming together, just really connect, let go, step into the power for the next things to come. So again, they're very welcome for everybody to, to be there. Um, is there anything else from your side? Any other questions that you feel are important to answer? So I've been getting a, a few questions about the program because it's quite a mix that we've put together. Uh, we mix movement and music and leadership. And uh, yeah, a few people can really not imagine how this is going to look like. So for my side, I'd just like to give the input around uh, the movement medicine we're going to work with. As a former high-performance athlete, a lot of things for me process through my body. And uh, we're going to use dance. We're going to use yoga. And don't worry, it's really simple. Everyone can do it their way. There's always a 
adaptations for any level. And uh, yeah, it really, working with the body really helps us to tap into um, processes and emotions and just old memories that are stored in our subconscious. And it really helps us to, to bring them up, work through them and uh, release them. And of course, we're going to mix it with beautiful music. So it's all going to be fun and play as well. And uh, Ailey, maybe leading to you, because I know you're going to do a lot of exciting things around leadership. How is that going to look? So, so from my side, what is really beautiful about this program is it's integrated movement and leadership. So we are going to be in between and even for the leadership activities and uh, training bits, it's not going to be that you sit on a chair and you, <laughs> you do things that often happens. It's going to be embodied and it's really experiential learning, which is key to let things go and to really find your voice, find your power. So for me, for me, that will be really, really beautiful because we hold things in the bodies as Krista said and it will be a chance to release them and release them in a beautiful way and then move on, move on with the new things and new projects and also have a beautiful community of women who are going through the same and who will be there to support uh, you going forward so for me that's the most beautiful thing it's really that integration and embodiment which I don't, don't see in other programs but for me it's, it's key uh, we, we, I think most people have Zoom overwhelm and, and all the digital tools and actually to be in your body, to be able to move, to be able to find, again, find your voice, find your moves. <laughs> I think it's really, really, it will be really great. I'm just going to jump on this one because, oh, just listening to you makes me so excited about uh, yeah, the beautiful time we're going to spend together. And uh, what you just mentioned with Zoom overwhelm. On one hand, I'm so, so grateful that we can connect now. You are in Basel, I'm in Zurich, but we can uh, speak together in this very moment. But at the same time, the big theme of the weekend is also transformation through reconnection. And really, um, it's magical when we can connect in the physical space and we can look each other in the eye and we can share these energies. We lose 70% of communication when it's just words and, and images. So really to reconnect with the group, with other humans, and the helps us so much to reconnect with ourselves and our essence and our power so for me that's really yeah it's gonna be wonderful sounds very good thanks Krista I'm so much looking forward to the weekend the excitement around us is just really really nice so looking forward to it and uh, thank you again absolutely thank you Egle it was wonderful to connect with you